Hi guys, hope you all are doing good, and I hope you all are safe and inside your house. So in this video, actually, I want to discuss about two topics, and in the end, I also want a suggestion from your side about uh, the channel and what content I should put. So first, let us discuss uh, the two topics. First is that one of my friends sat for the Accenture test. I think it was off campus, and he had a session today. 7th may 10 am session and i want to discuss what type of coding questions are asked actually a lot of people asked me how to prepare for service based companies what all questions are there i have cleared wipro internship test i am not yet sat for any kind of placement or off campus placement so when i sit if i sit then i will make a video but then some of my friends who have sat i asked them and i'm making this video so that you might be better aware for your next attempt or for the upcoming uh, this thing play, uh, placements so the question that was asked in uh, the coding test of accenture today so i we don't he my friend does not know the exact wordings but this was the question so basically we have two dice so i hope everyone knows what is a die so basically it has six faces and uh, numbers from 1 to 6 are there present so there are two dice okay and we are given an integer sum and we are asked to find how many pairs can be formed such that the sum of the two numbers that fall uh, sorry sum of the two numbers that appear when the dice are thrown at the same time will be equal to the given sum that means for example if the given sum is 10 so if the given sum is 10 then how many pairs of numbers are there which add up to 10 in such a way that those numbers can fall or those numbers can appear when the two dice have fallen simultaneously so it can be like 5-5, five, five. it can be like 4-6 or it can be 6-4. So what should we basically do over here? If we have to write a pseudo code, then basically we just have to, you know, run two for loops for i equal to 1 to 6 and another for loop int j equal to 1 to 6 and if i plus j equal to sum we should increment the count value and we should print the count so this sum is already given so this sum is given in the problem so what is this loop representing the outer loop will represent the number of possible outcomes of the of one die and the second for loop will represent number of possible outcomes of the second die. See, outcome can be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in one die. Another die also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So just map each and every outcome. So outcome 1 of the first die with 6 possible outcomes. Similarly, outcome 2 of the first die, die with 6 possible outcomes like that. So 36 possibilities are there. So this problem is basic mathematics, 10 standard mathematics this is, and it is asked in the coding test. So I believe this was a very, very easy problem. And I think uh, whoever sat there must have got it. But actually I feel looking at the levels of the problem, uh, I don't think uh, many people who are very ambitious in life would want to sit for such kind of interviews where it is so easy. So they would be expecting something tougher. If something is more tough and challenging, that means the return also will be better. So maybe even my friend was saying that it was not uh, like he didn't find any difficulty only and uh, it just happened like that. So anyway, I just wanted to share this problem so that people will be aware like what, what is the level of questions it is not always that these kind of questions only are asked, but usually 
uh, what my friend was saying it will be like this as he has uh, given some more in the past so this was the problem that was asked in accenture in the upcoming days if there are some other interviews coding rounds whatever and i get some information i'll make a video so that everybody will become aware and you can watch this video irrespective of whether you are sitting for placement or not just to become aware and spread it so please share it with your friends i know it's a very easy problem but then just share it to someone who might be very eagerly wanting to know what was asked or how things happened something just share it to them the second topic that i want to talk about is uh, this uh, coding contest by infosys hack with infi so there was a session today my friend sat for it actually i did not know that i could also register for it i missed the date so i did not sit uh, my friend sat and he said there were three questions asked three hours time and uh some top 100 in the first round will be uh, eligible for second round and he also told there is a pre placement opportunity in infosys so after listening to that i thought oh shit i missed a very big chance but then these opportunities are for like system engineer and uh, some other role salary is of 5 lakhs 6 lakhs 8 lakhs so usually the people who write these exams are those people whose colleges are not so nice and companies don't attend their colleges usually although there are people who want to take the best opportunity and get a job as soon as possible that's also true but if your college is nice and bigger companies are visiting with better packages then you will obviously want to sit for that and let me tell you this contest was not easy according to my friend he could solve maybe only one problem and he told that at least two problems had to be solved so that he could go to next round so this is actually a very tough i would say because generally people don't solve these kind of problems <coughs> sorry and i want to discuss like one of the problems he told he actually found it on code forces so he had already solved so this problem on code forces i'll put the links in the description so this problem is of level 1400 it is binary search sorting maths greedy so basically binary search sorting concept <coughs> excuse me and uh, this almost the same problem was asked in the exam so he could solve only this problem as he had already solved the problem in, in the code forces so if you are doing code forces and other websites it is actually very helpful in these kind of contests sometimes direct question also can be asked. because see if you solve so many problems you are covering so many different concepts and there is a chance that in any exam you will find something very very similar to what you have solved sometimes and also it is not guaranteed so don't be so excited that if i do this and if i solve this it will everything will be fine but i'm just saying see if you solve these level problem like 1400 500 600 if you can solve that level then maybe you you could have cracked this uh, hack with infi so hack with infi is not like a very it's not a child's play i would say it's a advanced test and actually the questions that are asked require some practice how do you practice actually if you look at practice questions for hack with infi what my friend told was it is not so similar there are lots of differences and uh you will not find good places so i am really not sure where can you practice anything but code forces is again best website you can practice all the problems of level 1400 1500 1600 it will take time obviously so if you are in your first second year you can start now and you can prepare well and all these contests will become easy for you then so you know that's what i wanted to share with you it's also there in geeks for geeks apparently i i just googled it now so i found it so problems are there uh that's all for this video and the small suggestion i want is that uh should i do lead code problems like there are some problems that are not there in this lovebubble dsl list 
and i felt that doing those problems were challenging so lead code uh, not so regularly i solve but i thought maybe i can improve my profile over there and some questions are very interesting there and people recommend lead code like for interviews and all so just let me know in the comments if you want me to make videos on lead code problems some of them might be what you have already done some of them might not be so just share it with your friends and give me your suggestions and tell me what all the topics you want me to make videos on i'll see about that so that's all for this video uh, take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye